Hi, this is Karen from FabGrandma.com and I'm showing you my new Hamilton Beach programmable slow cooker. And what I'm cooking today is a whole chicken. And to prepare the chicken, I've washed it and trimmed it. I like to cut as much of the fat off as I can because it just, that's how we like it. Um, I have used meat tenderizer, butt rub, and garlic salt to season it with. And since this um, slow cooker has got a, pro a temperature probe, you want to make sure that the thickest part of your meat or whatever you're cooking is going to be on the same side as the um, plug for the probe jack. So I've got the chicken in there and arranged in the correct way. The next thing I'm going to do is put the lid on. And it's, one of the, it's a stay or go slow cooker, which means that... Once you've cooked, it has these clamps for the lid that are pretty difficult to get on here. <laughs> and they clamp down so you can take this anywhere you want to take it and the lid is not going to come off. You can put it in the car and go down the road with it. So now that the lid is on, you have your probe and you're going to put the probe through the hole in the lid and into the thickest part of the meat and make sure it's not touching a bone just I'm putting it into the center of the breast of this chicken and then you plug the other end into the pot okay so what we do is we're going to turn this on by pushing the on off button and then you're going to hit the probe button and push enter and then you're gonna set it to the temperature that you want your meat to be when it's done and I am going to put it at 180 degrees push cook and it will tell you immediately what the inside temperature of your food is it's at 40 degrees and it's going to cook until it gets to 180 degrees and at that point it will turn itself off or turn down to warm and keep your food warm until you're ready to eat and this is going to take about four hours for it to cook to 180 degrees